further this time. Uh, I made it through the first few phone calls. I was able to cancel them out, but uh, that last one locked everything up. So don't know uh, how many of you guys were still, were, were still with me at the end, but it locked my whole phone up. So we'll start over, we'll walk around for a few more minutes, see anything you like. We want to go take a little better look at it. We can sure walk around it. Uh, got any comments, throw them up there. We'll sure try to address them. And as always, if you've got any other questions after we get done, you can always give me a shout at 620-786-4428. So kind of over here in the Mopar section is kind of where we locked up last time. 49 Plymouth Business Coupe, 70 Duster, 69 Roadrunner, the 37 Plymouth we just did a video on the other day. Some GM stuff. 54 Pontiac station wagon. It's kind of out of place. Just had a hole there. It got sat. A lot of this stuff is 60 stuff, but it's getting ready to get moved back into a whole different area. I've got set up for 60s era, big GM cars. This section is going to be 50s era GM eventually is where I'm going with it. So as we get back here, we're going to see some of the 50s Buicks that I've already moved back into this area that we brought in from dad's place. Got a cool one here on the corner you don't see every day, a Chevrolet step van. Definitely something kind of different, unique. Some more old trucks. Come around here, this section here is kind of just miscellaneous. It's primarily international. There's several Studebakers mixed in here. Got a little Dodge A100 van. Several internationals in here. Cabin front clip off of a 59. Uh, that cab was a Diamond T, late 40s era Diamond T truck. 41 to 49 KB5. This one here as we walked by was a 37 to 40 era D series international truck. Another K series. Uh, L series 50 to 52 L. Here's one of the Studebakers we had mixed in here as well. So a bunch of stuff in this area needs to be sorted. It is primarily international and Studebaker, but there is some other stuff in here that needs to be sorted. 1956 international four wheel drive, kind of a unique truck you don't see every day. And more internationals, internationals all over in this section. Like I said, there's a few Fords mixed in here that need to be pulled out and resituated with the Fords. Neat looking old K-Series nose. There's something you don't see every day, something kind of different. 1956 Studebaker Hawk. Always a really unique body style on those cars. Studebaker pickups, a few more Studebaker cars here on the end. And we'll kind of overlook, kind of been ignoring this side over here. Lots of Ford stuff in this area. This area was predominantly Ford. It's going to have to get moved again as well, just because I've got to reshuffle re and resituate everything around here. So there's an international there that got shuffled into the mix as well so lot still got lots of sorting to do but lots of neat fords in this area 48 to 50 era 39 ford pickup one ton 72 ford pickup 48 to 50 55 f250 a couple of 42 to 47 era ford trucks More of the 48 to 52 era style right in here in all this big group right here. Another international kind of stuff in the mix, an old 28, 29 era six speed special. 38 Ford half ton, not much left of it. It's pretty rough. There's still some pieces there. Another 42 to 47 era Ford truck. 
And across the way, we've got some Ford cars as well. Falcons here on the front, including a couple of station wagons, 65 Fairlane Sports Coupe. Uh, Brian's a six-speed special guy. I've got several of those here, actually. Nothing that's real great, but a lot of pieces for them. 70 Mustang, 68 Mustang. Some 56 Mercury's, two-door and four-door hardtops. All of them have been fairly heavily stripped. But there again, once they're flat, they're not good for anything. So, fifty-eight Ford, sixty-two Galaxy five hundred XL convertible. Another pretty complete sixty-two Galaxy four door. And over here, we've got some more Mo of the Mopar section. We're kind of on the back side of the other Mopars we looked at. A couple more dusters here in the front. Several 50s era Mopars in this group. There's a 51 Imperial, 49 Dodge, 51 Plymouth. Fifty-nine Dodge pickup, that's something you don't see every day. Several more early 50s era Mopars there in the group. 49 Dodge, 50 Plymouth, 53 Dodge, and another 49 Dodge clear on the other end. Got a lot of cabs around here, tons of cabs everywhere. Probably got close to 100 of them that are already off. Sitting here ready to go for anybody that needs a replacement cab or wants to build a hot rod project and needs a good cab to start with. Got tons and tons of those in stock as well, so. Anyhow, what was <laughs> Brian finally got on live with us. Yeah, we're not not doing a real long one, not getting real in depth today, Brian, but it was so nice out. Bright, sunny, clear, a little bit of breeze, but not bad. So thought we'd go wander around a little bit, check a few things out. So glad you did make it. Hope you're enjoying it. Uh, as always, you end up with a lot of extra pieces laying around. This is all sheet metal off of stuff I've stripped out over the years. One of the biggest mistakes a lot of people, uh, a lot of people do. In fact, perfect example right there. There's a set of bumpers for a 73 Eldorado. I don't have a 73 Eldorado here. So if you call me and ask me if I've got a 73 Eldorado, I don't have one. Got a ton of parts off of one that I stripped out. There's the bumpers. In fact, there's the trunk lid off of it. So just because I don't have a specific vehicle here doesn't necessarily mean I don't have parts for it. Short bed box for an old late 30s, early 40s era Dodge pickup. And another one right behind it, as a matter of fact. Like I said, tons of cabs off of trucks I've stripped out over the years. You know, there's a 37 Ford cab. Not one you see every day. 37, 38 Chevy or GMC cab. 51 GMC cab, 51, 52 Ford cab, 48 to 50 Ford cab. Even got one of the late 50s, early 60s, big old Ford cab over cabs. So those are a real unique piece. Uh, 60 Chevy pickup, uh, step side long bed. This whole area needs to be resorted and reshuffled. We raised the middle of this and got it up level with the rest of the ground, but these edges around here are still low. So everything in here just keeps getting shuffled as, uh, as we're trying to level dirt and kind of make this all more usable space. So everything in this certain area we're at right now is just kind of a mess actually, to put it, to put it bluntly. Some late 20s, early 30s Chevy trucks, some square body Chevy cabs. Oh, this is something kind of interesting you don't see every day. 